Peggy 18. Freedom has a price. Half the country is occupied by Roosevelt. We can't negotiate with them. We have to take back what is ours. No force can occupy a country when its people do whatever it takes to drive them out. Roosevelt wouldn't stand a chance. I wish more people would see that. for ages 10 and up. Peggy 12. To my dearest friends, through the evil noise of artillery, tanks, and planes, I remember our adventures, our friendship, and our pain. My closest friend, Emil, in your twilight years, you came to fight, not for glory, but to mend your daughter's tears. 
Lucky Freddy. Yes, you were always fearless and with intent. I hope you have found peace with your letters that were never sent. Anna, my bravest of warriors across the Western Front, saving the mountain of wounded. The 19th century saw the peak of modern imperialism, and worldwide rivalry between European powers would prove too much for treaties and conventions to restrain. The two blocs, one Great Britain, France and Russia, the other Germany and Austria-Hungary, moved slowly but inexorably toward the first great conflict of modern times. The war to end all wars was about to begin. The scope of the war is difficult to grasp. A web of obligations, treaties, and opportunistic alliances drew over 30 countries into the bloody struggle. And in Western Europe alone, the front line stretched more than 400 miles. From Belgian ports to the distant